Look at this, dear ones. It, it's a cloud that looks like a bird uh, with its head turned around backwards like it's looking behind it. Isn't that interesting? Well, so I thought about it for a few minutes, this idea of a bird with its head turned around looking backwards. And I, what I came up with for this cloud reading is um, that we're like flying, flying into the new, into the new beginning. And, and yet, what with all of the, um, the astral stories and so forth spinning around and, and carrying on, it, it, it's almost like, um, it's almost like getting a glimpse of an old movie uh, from a long time ago, bunches and bunches of them, and of the way things used to be. You know, it's like a review of the things that are going away. And so we're like that bird that's, that's taking off into the sky. And just for a minute or two, when an astral story rolls around, we're looking backwards at the way things used to be and all the things that are just clearing out of the stratosphere and the newosphere right now. Look at this, dear ones. This is only a couple of uh, minutes later, and the winds are so great that everything is changing so fast. This is what happened to the bird. See, that's where the feet are taking off from Earth, right there, right here, see? And up here, the body of the bird has become just gigantic, just gigantic. Oh, where is it? Here's the head. See, there's the eye right there. And so, everything has changed. Everything is and in the same way our dreams for new earth are taking off and changing and transforming into something grand and wonderful. It's incredible really, it's just incredible. Huh. looks like the head of the bird is changing into something else. See the eye on the left? That's what used to be the eye. And here, right here, you can see different things. But right here, it looks like a wolf with its mouth open, coursing forward, moving forward. Actually, the cloud is moving in the other direction. And from a bigger distance, it looks like a deer that's asleep with its eye closed and just the rest of it looks like a little spot on its nose there and a nostril up on the far right. Interesting. I can't make heads or tails of this. You're going to have to do it for me. Figure that out. Why would a, um, a bird that was looking backwards change into something that looks like a, a deer that's sleeping on the side of a mountain? That part is kind of peaceful. And then within it, it has a wolf a wolf face, like a wolf that's moving forward with its moving forward so fast that its eye is sort of half closed from the speed and the wind. Hmm. So, so maybe we have that it's okay to be moving forward very fast and at the same time looking back because the cloud is moving this way backwards. And maybe we also have that, that it's kind of hard what we're doing because this wolf is just making a great effort to move forward and straight on into the new. A great effort and a kind of peace and oneness with nature, sleep too. And, and the bird has come to light over there. Huh. Well, so a minute later and it's all changed again. And here it looks like Right here, I see uh, a camel that's laughing or a horse that's laughing. Can you see it now? So many different animals. It's as if all our animal ancestry is changing and converting and displaying itself and then morphing into something else as it disappears into the new reality. So that's my thought on that topic and I wish you all a wonderful day and a wonderful new beginning in every moment.